Gal from Noble Touch and today we're going to do a little bit of a different flower. Um, we're going to add some of the pinwheel effect with my single petal fold. Um, what we're going to need is at least one roll of the purple border mesh as well as the cream with gold border mesh. This is a 3.8 inch foam ball which I cut in half and I painted it with a uh, purple pansy acrylic paint. It's the apple barrel, apple barrel paint from Walmart. Then you're going to need your canvas grid, which I already cut out and put on this 10 inch frame. Now this is the deep 10 inch frame or the newer ones that they, they're carrying. So um, I went ahead and attached the grid to the top bar instead of the lower bar here. You're also going to need uh, cable ties, and as well as some pipe cleaners, scissors, your glue stick, glue gun, um, your wood burning tool, because I am going to fuse the mesh when I cut. So for this one, we're using the wider, bigger tip to cut and fuse the mesh. Uh, when I go to my single petals, I'll probably switch the tip out to my skinnier stencil tip just because um, I like the cleaner cut I get from the stencil tip on the deco mesh. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is cut, at least uh, for the first row of petals, we're going to cut 10 10 inch pieces of mesh. So we're going to just go ahead, roll this out and cut every 10 inches. Try to stay in between the grid lines. I know it's hard, like right there, I just jumped it. Um, it's hard to do it with this bigger tip. So we're going to cut 10 for the first base and then um, seven and a half, I think for the second base. So about 18 pieces of mesh uh, for the pinwheel effect. So now here, what we're going to do again is we're going to take the mesh and fold it into a triangle. So we're going to fold it into a triangle like so. Now with, with deco mesh, you're going to see where one side's going to overlap the other. That's okay. So what we want, want it to do is to have the gold threads border side overlapping the non border side like this. Okay. And then on this side, it just, it just falls, um, I got a loose piece of, it just so happens to fall that this, when you, when you make sure this side's overlapping, that this back side's actually overlapping this side. And then you're going to take a ruler. I have, I couldn't find my little ruler I have. So I literally, I have a big square ruler that, um, you know, stole from my husband's workroom. And then you're going to just go and you can kind of pull because when you're in the foil part, it might take a couple swipes to cut that foil. So then you're going to have your uh, cuts like that. So right there, there's two petals. So for the second layer that we're going to do, Cut 10 inches off here. Really? Okay. okay, so that one I just showed you was for the, the base layer. So it's going to be the ones that go around on this bar. That's how you're going to cut it. Now the ones that are going to go on this bar right here, we're actually going to cut it so the gold is on the left hand side now. And I know you're looking down, so this is gonna, it probably looks right to you, but um, you're gonna have the foil on the left hand side now.
I really need to find my smaller ruler because this is pretty cumbersome, this big thing here. But whatever works, right? And then go ahead and cut. Because we're going to do the pinwheel effect in the back two layers. So let me show you the other one here. So when we do our petal this way for the bottom layer, they're going to be this way. And then for the next layer, it's going to, it's going to go opposite, you know, so it'll be like, like that. I'm going to show a, looks like it's going to like, you know, pass each other. So for the first layer, you're going to cut 10 pieces of 10 inch mesh and then do your half petals with those and then on the right hand side. And then for your second layer, you're going to cut up a total of eight pieces of mesh. Basically it's going to be seven and a half pieces that you're going to need for the second layer, um, like these pieces. So you will cut 18 cuts of 10 inch mesh for each color. Like I said, 10 will be this way or, you know, the first 10 will go this way on the right and the other seven and a half, eight pieces will go to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting up and then we'll be back. Okay, so we got all of our mesh cut up and we are going to go ahead and start putting them around the frame. So we're just going to alternate with the purple and the cream. And where you fuse the petals, at the bottom here, that's where you're just going to scrunch it like that. And then you have your, your petal. And then we just have to zip tie, which is always my funnest thing to do, to the frame like so. And then just off your zip tie like that. Okay. So we went ahead and attached that one like that. And now we're going to take the cream and again where the fuse part is is where you want to gather it. And then you're going to attach with the zip tie next to the purple. And now we're going to just alternate this um, until we're done. We should be able to get four in each section and for, for this bottom section here. So we'll be back. Okay, so we just finished the bottom face and now we're going to go ahead and attach to this second rung from the outside. And this time we, because we cut our mesh the opposite way with the foil on the left hand side when we cut, um, I'm going to make some room here. So you're going to, going to take your mesh. You know what? I think I'm going to start with the cream first. These always remind me of little shark fins or little fishes like the angel fish. Um, again, this is also the petal from Dean Michael Design, and I'm using the Fuse Method by Julie's Wreath Boutique. She came up with this neat way to cut the mesh. And now I'm going to go ahead and, since I started with purple here, I'm going to go with the cream here. And this zip tying at this level is a lot easier than that first base to me. And just pull down like that. So now we'll have the pinwheel effect going with the opposite petals. And I believe now since this is, we'll do three of each color in each section. So we'll have the three of the cream and three of the purple um, alternating. This almost reminds me of a 
Mardi Gras wreath with the purple and the gold like this. Or it looks like a really pretty sun. So doing this in, you know, a sunflower colors will be gorgeous too. And now here, um, I just have that just popped out, that grid. Push, you can go ahead and push these tails underneath the grid right here. Like that. And just, it will give you a cleaner look when it's all said and done. So I'm going to go ahead and finish alternating the petals. And we'll be back for the center petals. This is a, probably a good time to turn on your glue gun and uh, change your tips out for your um, your mesh cutting. So uh, I'm changing mine to a stencil tip as soon as it cools down. And we'll be back. Okay, so we just finished our second level. And what we're going to do now is take our center and put it in this like this in the center. And you can either eye this when you glue it on or you can just trace. It looks about, you can just trace the spot where you wanna, I say trace the spot, but apparently I need a different marker. Oh, that's a little bit better, I can, I can see it. Um, and then also you're going to need some floral pins. These are just the U-shaped pins to push in through the grid um, in the back to make sure it's secured. So I just have a piece of um, plastic I'm putting underneath or cardboard. And you're just going to take your glue Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is beautiful. This reminds me of a like a, a celestial sun. So you could probably just do two layers and then, or even a third layer going the opposite way again, and then put one of those metal celestial sun signs on it. I think that'd be really pretty. Okay, back to this flower. <laughs> now we just gotta glue. And again, I use the floral pins because if you, these go to a place where it gets really hot, you don't want it to come off. I was going to say too, if this is your first time watching me, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're a return person, thank you for joining me again. And make sure to please subscribe and click the uh, little bell and you can get notifications of when any new videos come up. And I'm just putting three, these two I'll do on an angle and the middle one straight up like that. And then I'm going to put this to the side and get the stencil tip on my wood burner and we're going to cut the rest of our mesh. So we'll be back. Okay, so our last set of petals, we are going to cut just every 10 inch, uh, every 10 inches on this mesh. So we're going to use the stencil tip of this wood burner this is because I don't jump lines with this one. I just stay in between the grid lines and cut. Make sure if you're cutting, you have a glass um, over your mat that you're cutting on, as well as um, wear masks because you are burning plastic with this. So after we get the mesh all um, cut up here, we're going to take and Take one corner in to the middle like that, another corner in like this, pinch it, and then you're going to twist the bottom basically and just fold over. And this is my single petal fold 
then just take a uh, pipe cleaner and go like this. And then I'm just going to pull this up here quick. We're going to put it right up in the grid next to the ball here in the center and pull down like that. So I'm going to keep alternating colors. So I, I'm going to do the cream and purple, cream and purple all the way around. And then um, I'll let you know for sure how many petals we use at the end. It will be under the description portion of the tutorial. And um, like I said, if you're on your phone, there should be a little arrow, like toggle arrow down, click on that. That'll give you all the description information for the tutorial. And then if you're on a computer or a desktop, it should say show more underneath. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this and we'll be back. I said I'll have all the numbers underneath the description portion of the video um, as well as a supply list which everything pretty much um, see here you can get from Mel's Crafty Mojo I will have my affiliate link underneath as well um, I know they are in the process of moving their warehouse but I think they'll be up and running tomorrow so um, or I guess it would be today <laughs> when I release this video so uh, so I think uh, May 7th is when they're reopening and um, so go check them out and support that small business and um, thank you so much for joining me again please make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel I hope you enjoyed this flower wreath and again you guys if you're making these and want to share with me on my Facebook page please do so uh, a noble touch is my Facebook page I would love to see anything or tag me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, um, tag me. I would love to see uh, your, your creations that you guys come up with. So thank you so much for joining me. You guys have a great day.